what's good everybody welcome back to another episode of the ride with Anda. now today we're going to be having a look at the Omoda c5 which is a premium brand from the automaker cherry now they're really shifting the market in the sense where now they're forcing automakers to just have a look at not just providing any type of product but quality product for a good price considering how much value money can get you if it's your first time here like subscribe comment and let us know what you like about this car and what other vehicles you'd like for us to review enjoy hey good morning guys today we are here with antonio from ronnie's to have a view of the omoda c5 so this is a car that just hit the market. I know a lot of us are like, why are the East coming into our market? Because they make such beautiful cars. Morning, morning. Uh, Antonio here from Ronnie's Motors. Um, yeah. And we're going to take you through the new motor, Cherry motor C5. We're going to start off with the basics. Obviously, your C5 1.5 uh, 230T. Um, you can see the beautifully designed uh, front grille. You've got your s model yeah the That's luxury fine. s mm -hmm. which is the sporty model comes out with your 18 inch hello wheels with the red uh, inserts on the on the rim itself uh, you've got your red inserts on the trims as the sporty look and then on the rear you've got this nice uh, little fin at the back uh, popping it off and obviously as you can see your C5 230T you've got a nice looking beautiful design smart key you can remote start your vehicle press it hold it in for about five seconds your vehicle starts that is for you to pull off your vehicle in the summertime or heat it up in the winter time for you to get in and just drive off in this new beautiful looking c5 that we have here from among them so let's go for a test drive the omoda c5 is nothing short of tech in the interior with the term art in motion we always advise that if you want the best experience in the vehicle go for the premium spec the gt but if budget does not allow then the standard 230t is fine as well which starts off at around 450,000. According to Omoda, the front seats are inspired to embody the look of a sports car, but still provide comfort and high quality. The seats in this model are electrically adjustable, and if you get the base model, not an option. Everything looks good and modern. There is a bit of scratchy bits here and there, but for the price you're paying, I believe they really did their best. The dashboard is familiar, we recently reviewed a BMW M2, which has something similar with a split for the infotainment and instrument cluster. One cool thing to actually get used to is when you get into the car, it plays a welcome tune to set you up for the drive. I love the flat bottom steering wheel, very sporty. The center console offers wireless charging and a key holder. It being at an angle means you get to keep an eye so you don't forget it when exiting. There's still two USB points to connect to and also extra storage space underneath here. The Amoda comes with an electric gear lever, electronic park brake, cup holders and an armrest, and storage area that can also be cooled. The button mm -hmm. is your Mercedes-Benz um, C and E class. Mm. It's got that stop-start button there. Um, you're looking at your BMW parking brake lever gear lever as well um, then you've got your window switch there which is also inspired Mercedes. from Mercedes yeah yeah so you see a lot of hints and features here from the Germans yeah for instance this one panel infotainment system and infrastructure cluster is very Mercedes Benz very you'd see this like across all models like your GLE your which other car? Your GLE, your G Wagon. G Wagon. Um, they've got this the one same. panel. Yeah. yeah. The carpets are rubber. Not sure if it's aftermarket or part of the purchase, 
but it's a smart thing to have for quick cleaning. The infotainment is up to date with its offering. You have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and you can also connect your USB to cycle through content like photos and video. The 360 degree camera was what actually caught my attention. The clarity and responsiveness being up to part. I guess it makes up for the air conditioning not having actual buttons. Getting the GT model adds on a few extras like lane keep assist, blind spot assist, and on a rear view mirror you get a USB connection that if you have a camera or a GoPro you can connect to. Over to the back. It still looks great. The slopey roofline and sunroof does lower headspace but is nothing to complain about. There's a socket for charging, good legroom, it looks great. But one thing that would have been the cherry on top, you get it, cherry, is a panoramic sunroof. What's impressive at this price point is you get a power tailgate with a decent amount of storage space at 375 liters and the seats also fold down for extra space and you get also a space saver spare wheel. Hello cherry. I'm listening. Can you close the tailgate for us, please? Got it. Closing the lift gate. Thank you, JD. So the car is very responsive when it comes to gear changes and everything. Uh, we think because it's a 1.5 liter, it would struggle. But as soon as you press your foot on the brake, I mean, press your foot on the accelerator, like the car just wants to go. <laughs> and yeah, I think you said it has a CVT gearbox. CVT gearbox, yeah. yeah. So yeah, this is pretty nice. Like, I, I really don't see how much of a huge change it would be when they get the D, G, D, G, D, I. Yeah, GDI, GDI. yeah, but maybe we'll look at we'll see that as soon as it comes in. The sound of the gearbox is different, so you won't hear that harsh change on it. The verdict. Hmm. I've heard a bit about this car, but never really took interest to come out and check it. Well, thinking, yeah, yeah, another Chinese brand, blah, blah, blah. But honest to say, we should have been here sooner. One thing I love about it is the pricing and the offering. It gives you a lot to offer for the amount you're paying, and that's why a lot of Eastern brands are starting to fill up in our market. They've made us realize that, hey, paying a million rand for a standard car nowadays cannot be normal. Well, if you're in East London, stop by Ronnie's Motors and ask for Erica or Antonio, and they'll give you a better insight on the vehicle and possibly put together a nice deal. That's it for today. Like, comment, and share this with someone who might be looking to purchase their next car. See you soon. Bye. When you have the auto start on and you get in a car, none of the functions will work. Well, that is more or less like a safety feature, right? Yeah. So then you'd only st you can only have access to the features or anything in the car, any button, as soon as you put your foot on the on the brake. So yeah, let's go. You've got your volume control, uh, music selection. And this side, you've got your cruise control. Then you set up.